With its factory tuning and data center DNA, an Intel 730 series SSD is an amazing choice for gamers and performance enthusiasts. So I've gotten some complaints that we don't do enough crazy projects anymore. Now the fact of the matter is that a lot of the time we, I mean, we don't plan to, to do crazy things that, you know, our things are broken and stuff. It just kind of happens. So it kind of happened this time. Uh, this is my Dell XPS 12 that I've been using for the last quite a while. Uh, we were in the middle of shooting something yesterday and I kind of ran off this morning. I was running around looking for it going, where the heck is it? Cause it wasn't at home and I found it on the porch, and unfortunately, it rained last night. So this is the state of it. This water is actually dripping out from inside the notebook. Now there is an extremely good chance that this notebook is completely dead. With non-battery powered devices, it's off, you, can, you could basically submerge it, and then if you could open it up, and completely dry it and make sure there's no residue or nothing to short it out, there's a very good chance that would live. With something with a battery in it, it's constantly getting power provided to it, so the chances of uh, shorting something out and destroying it are very good. So it was actually left open like this, so the water was able to force its way in through the keyboard. Uh, so this is, I mean, this is in very, very rough shape, but, you know, thousand dollar notebook you're still gonna you're still gonna take a shot at fixing it right so I'm pulling out my iFixit kit with my Torx heads here actually these are a handy new thing that we've got now these nice little magnetic trays uh, we're gonna do a uh, sub $100 we might, we might have actually done it by the time this video is done but sub $100 handy things and we're gonna highlight those because I think they're great so I'm gonna pull off the bottom here we'll be back in a moment all right, so this is kind of the moment of truth. We're gonna open up the shell. Fortunately, I don't have an Apple computer, so it comes apart, even though it's an Ultrabook type form factor. So you can see the entire inside is absolutely soaked um, with water being able to run out a little bit more freely now that I have it opened up. Now, one thing that I'm gonna wanna do pretty much immediately here is disconnect the battery connector. I mean, but like I said, it's, it's probably a done deal at this point, but it still can't hurt to have the power disconnected. Unfortunately, it looks like, it looks like Dell glues that in. Why would they do that? Dell, what are you guys doing? I, there is a chance that if I dry this out completely and replace the battery, that I'll be able to get it back up and running again, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this connector off first. So panic moment there, guys. It turns out that water on a connector that's beaded up kind of looks like glue. So no, the battery is not glued in. So what I'm gonna do next is pull the battery out. And actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it apart as much as I can without going so far that I lose track of how it goes back together. And then um, basically I'm gonna put it somewhere to dry, and then we're gonna do the old rice bag technique. This is just a handy sort of do yourself a favor trick is whenever you're taking something apart, um, take lots of pictures, because even if you forget one little detail, it can be a major hassle later on. Um, and then one thing that I'm doing as well is because it's got several different kinds of screws, I am making sure that um, that I take pictures of the heads as well as the threads next to the place where they come from. This just makes your life a little bit easier when you're putting it back together. You can see I've got the battery out now. Um, and then I've also got the, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just loosening PCBs so that I can get a little bit of airflow going through them. And then what I'll do is I'll just set up a fan to blow on it for now before I do the rice bag trick later on because you can't count on the rice to do everything. That's more of a, that's more of a finishing move, so to speak. So I'm pretty close to having it about as disassembled as I think I'm gonna get it. Um, I was hoping that because of the way the screen works on this notebook with this metal border around the top of it, that the screen itself wouldn't have really gotten any water in it because it was upright when it started raining. But Luke pointed out to me, well, hold on a second, surface tension, it's gonna come around here and then it's gonna drip onto the screen from this gap in between where the, uh, the I don't know, I think they call it a Ferris wheel style convertible screen. So he was right. Water did get into the screen. So we've got the carbon fiber top off now. It's really light. 
carbon fiber is kind of cool. But the good news, though, is that because it comes apart quite easily, much like the rest of this notebook, I'm able to open it up and get at least, I mean, there's not much water in here, so I'm really not that concerned about this part. Um, and it's mostly the bottom components here that I'm worried about. So basically what I've done is I've removed the motherboard kind of as much as I can. You can see it's quite loose. It's only being held in uh, over here. And then I've prized it up a little bit so that it's gonna, it can get a little bit more airflow. I'm gonna go position this in front of a fan and cross my fingers. I've taken the SSD out. Um, and then in order to speed things up, you can um, dry things out by soaking them in alcohol and then letting that evaporate away. So this I need some data off of, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do that with this, but I'm going to give the notebook probably a good solid week before I take another shot at it. So uh, here's my epic setup with, uh, got a three speed fan running here, and then I've got all of my, uh, all my parts in my handy dandy little Please focus, really? Wow, you're gonna be like that, okay. Um, in my parts tray, then I've got the disassembled notebook taken apart and opened up as much as possible for optimal sort of airing outness. I suspect that I actually won't need the, uh, the rice bag. Uh, I'm gonna leave this here for about a week and then we'll see how it goes. I got things kinda lifted up there. Yeah. So, a uh, funny story. I started by putting the screws in around the outside of the monitor, and I was like, no! I need to put the heat sink on. I need to uh, put the battery back in. Let's find out if this bad boy fires up, and then let's go ahead and invest in all the finishing touches there. So, I'm actually at the point now where the fan and the heat sink are back on. I put the SSD back in for good measure and it's time to put the battery on. Actually, I gotta put this connector back on first. Okay, so moment of truth time. I went and got everyone and I did all the stuff I can do by myself, so I'm gonna plug the battery in. I'm not gonna bother screwing it in just because who knows if this is all just a total waste of time. I'm gonna plug this bad boy in here. Oh my god! No, just kidding. Jesus Christ. <laughs> god. You actually did scare me there. Okay. Should it be so, making noise? Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That looks like an activity LED. Oh. Warning. Battery is critically low. Huh. Whoa. Here, if you can come have a look at the screen. Here. Oh. So, it powers on. The keyboard LEDs are illuminated. The activity LED on the SSD is going, so that means it's not just completely dumb in there. Let's, uh, whew. Okay, well, I'm gonna turn it off for now. I'm gonna grab a power adapter and find out if she boots into an OS. Wow. That's unbelievable. I'm impressed something actually happened. I was expecting nothing at all. Yeah, I was expecting complete dead, but like, damn. That's actually pretty amazing. Yeah. If this thing works, you're never allowed to get another laptop. Yeah, you have to continue to upgrade this laptop forever. Okay. Oops. Other side. Oh yeah, sure. Be gentle with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's try firing her up again. So I actually, I for forewent, is that the past tense of forego? I forewent the uh, the rice treatment because I was impatient. So it sat here for about a week though, I mean, which evidently was enough. The thing I don't know yet, because the thing that's most like, look at that. What? That's right where I left it. <laughs> what? Oh my God. There's my AX1500i unboxing review things. Unbelievable. Look at that. It did not even miss a beat. <laughs> Unbelievable. Completely unplugged wow. for a week and having been soaked. That's, that is that's unreal. That is something else. Look at that. So it remains to be works. seen how well the battery held up because that was the big thing that could have been damaged and could have lit on fire. Like it's a lithium based battery, like it could have been a big problem. But it turns out that it was well enough sealed 
and the screen was well enough sealed that we didn't get much water in there that the notebook actually worked. So there you go, guys. All is not necessarily lost, no matter how hopeless it looks. Thank you for uh, coming along for this voyage of discovery here on Linus Tech Tips. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment and let us know. Uh, I don't know, so I'm sure you have something to say at this point. Uh, as always, linked in the video description is our sponsor support us page. So you can buy a t-shirt, you can give us a monthly contribution, and I'm pretty sure there's another thing too. Right, you can change your Amazon bookmarks so that it gives us a kickback whenever you buy stuff on Amazon. So there you have it. I think we're done here.